Here we have it here. Show you around a bit. It's Velcro on top to attach to uh, a robot that we're using. Essentially we've got two cones made out of aluminium. We've got a center connector which is made from nylon. We machined the inside so that the cone sits in it nicely. We've got this uh, acrylic disc on the bottom and the top to provide structural rigidity as well as these plexiglass um, columns which have been attached with these holders around each of the four corners to provide uh, a hold on the cone. Now a bit about the cone, it's about 28 centimeters high, it's also 28 centimeters across. Now you can see on the bottom we've got a T and C connector that's been attached there. Um, that is where obviously you connect from. Now at the top you can actually see possibly that um, the conductor, the center conductor from the TNC connector has actually been um, adhered onto the aluminium with a um, silver epoxy resin. Epoxy resin with small silver particles in it that provides a very good electrical as well as mechanical connection. Now the seam here, the seam here has been spot welded together. We tried MIG welding and TIG welding, just burnt a hole right through it. So spot welding did the job. Yeah, so that, that's the antenna. Um, it operates quite well between the frequency range of about 300 megahertz. Actually, it goes, it goes down to about 30 megahertz. It starts operating really well at about 100 to 200 megahertz. And it operates all the well, all the way, easily up to about um, well over 3 gigahertz. So it performs quite well. No matching network, nothing like that. Just a, um, no ballon, 